I was speaking to Sparring DK recently, and he told me about a situation that he came across in one of his career modes, where Roma played through the season without a goalkeeper. They put an outfield player in goal, didn't have the intelligence to pick up a new goalkeeper, so yeah, they got relegated. He suggested that I should try out an experiment where no teams have a goalkeeper, but unfortunately, you can't do that. Every team has to have at least one goalkeeper listed. So, instead of having no goalkeeper, every team has got a one-rated goalkeeper. I've removed the actual goalkeepers, they've all been moved on, and it'll be interesting to see if this terrible goalkeeper actually gets played by any of the clubs, or will they just put an outfield player in goal instead? As you can see here, he's got one-rated goalkeeping stats. He's also got one reactions as well. He's completely useless, and he's wearing a helmet for his own safety. If you're that bad at football, you need a bit of protection. Anyway though, let's press on with the experiment. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more experiments like this one, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you do go on to enjoy this video, leave it a like as well. They all have the exact same name by the way in case you're wondering. Every single one of these 20 goalkeepers is called Terrible Goalkeeper. Now I will be doing this as a career mode save, but I'm going to start out by doing it as a custom tournament as well. In a custom tournament, teams can't make any transfers whatsoever, so they're stuck with the exact same squads that you've given them. They'll all have terrible goalkeeper, none of them will have an actual real-life goalkeeper, and it'll be interesting to see how everyone does. Then I'm going to start a career mode save with the exact same squads. Once again, everyone will be stuck with terrible goalkeeper, but they'll have a chance to rectify the situation. They can make transfers, but will they? Will any teams have the intelligence to sign an actual goalkeeper? This is FIFA 17 career mode, and most teams seem pretty dumb, so... Will it happen? Possibly not. Let's find out. Right, so I've simmed through the custom tournament, and this isn't quite the result that I was expecting. Apparently, when no teams have a proper goalkeeper, they don't score goals. Manchester City scored 11, which is the most that anyone managed in 38 matches. And the bottom team only got 37 points, whilst the top team got 52, so every team was separated by 15 points. And Chadley scored the most goals, which was 5. Defoe got the most assists, again with 5. And there are no stats available whatsoever for clean sheets, so terrible goalkeeper wasn't played by any of the teams whatsoever. They obviously played an outfield player in goal, but unfortunately, the game doesn't record those stats. It would have been nice to see which outfield player was best in goal, but yeah, can't do that unfortunately. Now let's get into an actual career mode, and let's see what difference it makes. Will any teams have the intelligence to sign a goalkeeper? I hope so. If they don't, this game is even more broken than I thought it was. Time for the moment of truth now then, lads. Will any of these teams have had the intelligence to pick up an actual goalkeeper? I've manually simmed through the transfer windows and I didn't see anyone sign one, so... Yeah, this could be quite interesting and could show just how broken this game truly is. Let's take a look. It looks like so far no one's signed one. Yep, every team still just has terrible goalkeeper. This game is so dumb. I guess an equally important question though is did Manchester United sign any strikers? They usually do. They didn't sign a goalkeeper, but did they still sign a striker? Let's take a look. Yeah, this guy's new. Not too sure who he is. Goncalo Paciencia. Probably butchering that name, but there you go. He cost 1.6 million. So, yeah, I'm guessing he's not too good. Maybe he's got good goalkeeping stats, though. Nope, I've just looked him up, and his goalkeeping stats aren't the best, really. And he's only got 78 potential as a striker as well, so... Yeah, quite why Manchester United have decided to sign him, I'm not too sure. They're just programmed to sign strikers apparently, not just world-class ones, but fairly average ones as well. I'm not entirely sure why, but there you go. You'd have to ask EA about that one. And now that teams were able to sign players, they scored a few more goals. 22 was still the maximum, which isn't exactly amazing, but it's still a step up from 11 or whatever it was before. Middlesbrough won the title with 60 points, they scored 22 goals and only conceded 3, which is quite impressive without a goalkeeper. And in terms of the relegated teams, that was Leicester, Bournemouth and Hull. Manchester City just narrowly avoided relegation. They got 39 points. Seriously though, what is this? I didn't change anything about the teams other than the fact that they didn't have a goalkeeper or a one-rated goalkeeper, but you know, 
basically the same thing because they didn't use him. And yet, despite the fact that every team had a terrible goalkeeper, no team decided to take advantage of that fact. In fact, they couldn't score very well at all. I don't understand, but they just defending the whole time. Did they figure that because they had a terrible goalkeeper, they just play like 9 at the back, 10 at the back most of the matches? I don't know. Was it just a standoff with the ball in the middle of the pitch and just everyone crowding around their goal, ignoring the football? This game is so stupid. Gaston Ramirez was the top goal scorer with 6. Brady got the most assists. And once again, there are no stats available for clean sheets. It made the cup competitions a bit more interesting though. None of the Premier League teams got to the last 16, and Newcastle went on to win the whole thing. We did have a few Premier League teams in the last 16 of the League Cup though, but they got eliminated at that round. And check out AFC Wimbledon, they got to the League Cup semi-final. Not bad going, Aston Villa won the whole thing, they beat Huddersfield 2-1 in the final. Without a goalkeeper, Leicester picked up one point in the Champions League. Arsenal had the exact same record, and in fact they had the same goal difference as well. Both Leicester and Arsenal scored two goals and conceded 18. We do have a slightly different situation with Spurs though. They won a game, conceded 14 and scored three. Whilst Manchester City scored three goals, conceded 17 and picked up a point. Manchester United were able to score five goals in the Europa League. Still only got a point though. And once again, we got a situation where two teams have the exact same record. Five goals, 16 conceded, and one point for Southampton as well. West Ham picked up four points though, which is genuinely pretty good for them. Usually I just get smashed out by Astra in the knockout stages. And I couldn't really create a one-rated goalkeeper without giving them a go. So as it was the Manchester derby yesterday, I'm going to go with that theme. I'm taking control of Manchester United. We're going up against Man City. Let's see how it goes. Fellaini's just been fouled by Kevin De Bruyne and he's getting a bit angry. I reckon it's only a matter of time before he starts headbutting people. Rashford's on the attack now then, plays that through to Herrera. Goes for goal, it drops for Martial and the keeper has no chance, he's one rated. It flies past him and we've taken the lead. Let's take another look at this one. I've given their goalkeeper the gold helmet just because it seems to go quite nicely with his kit. And yeah, what was he even doing there? He just kind of flops to the ground and watches it go past him. Awful. Man City have got a corner now then. This is a bit dodgy, but yeah, we've got that covered. Herrera plays it away and we're going to chase on to this one with Mkhitaryan. Turns that inside and then gets absolutely clattered. How is that not a foul? Fellaini's on the ball now, then crosses that one over. Not a bad ball. What is the keeper doing? Oh, dear. And when you've got a one-rated goalkeeper, shots like that just go straight past them. And Fellaini has just headbutted Sergio Aguero's bum and got away with it. Oh, dear. What is that goalkeeper doing? He's as bad as Bravo. At least he's made up for it. Seriously, though, that confused flapping is pretty much identical to what Bravo did last night. Rashford's going to take a shot, then. And the keeper doesn't even move for it. It's 2-1. Oh dear. One-rated goalkeepers are just terrible. As you'd expect, to be honest. But yeah, Rashford finds the back of the net. It's 2-1 to Manchester United. And every time we get a shot on target, I'm expecting a goal, to be honest. The goalkeepers just don't really know what they're doing, do they? Nice build-up play there. We play it through to Rashford. He takes a pop at goal. And look at him, he just watches it. Rashford's on it again then, goes for goal once again, and he scored again, seriously. Every time you get a shot on target, it's going to be a goal. Admittedly, it was a fantastic strike, and even a decent keeper might not have stopped that one. Because we've got a one-rated keeper in the net, though, it just makes me question every single goal we score. Is it a good goal, or is it just that the keeper is that bad that he makes everything look good? Darmian's on it now then, plays that down the line to Martial, turns that inside, completely does his man there, crosses it over, really nice ball. It drops for Fellaini, and what is he doing? Fellaini has been searching out Sergio Aguero all game. And it's finally happened. It's taken about five dodgy challenges to get there. But eventually, Fellaini has been shown a red card. Oh, here we go. We've got another chance here. We played through Martial. And it's going to be 4-1. Surely we can't mess this up, can we? We can't. We score. It's 4-1. And the goalkeeper is devastated. And that's the final whistle. We've picked up a 4-1 victory. I wanted to test out the one-rated goalkeepers. And I'm very glad that we did. We scored that absolute beauty with Rashford. Still not entirely sure if it was an amazing goal or if the goalkeeper just made it look that way, but yeah, I'll take it. I'm very satisfied with it. And a goal like that against Manchester City will always please me. 
So thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, leave a like if you have done, and I'll catch you again next time.